Robert, as the uh, AEA 2010 convention winds to a close, we're saving some of the best for last. Tell us what's new at Universal. Today we're introducing our Universal Avionics Attitude Heading and Reference System. Uh, it's a MEMS-based technology designed for both the retrofit and the forward fit market, uh, Part 23, 25, uh, 27, 29 marketplace. And uh, it's designed with a multitude of digital inputs uh, and outputs as well as analog. We've really tried to design uh, as many interfaces as possible with this new unit. Uh, it's a compact size, uh, five by five by eight. It's easily removable, for so if there's a failure or a need to remove it for any reason, all of the configuration and the alignment procedure numbers are all stored in the config module, which is stored right here on this little connector, and it's tied right into the connector, so all you have to do is remove the connector, pop this off and replace it. There's no need to for any pesky uh, realignment procedures for the aircraft. What's a development project like this entail? Obviously you don't slap something like this together overnight. Uh, obviously the, uh, the engineering development and of course certification aspects of this have to be considerable. We decided to go into the AHARS market a couple of years ago so it's, it's roughly been two years. Once we get the basic design down you know, we could typically get the functional requirement documents set, the interface description documents, and once we get rolling on that basic functionality, we can whip it up you know, fairly quickly. Uh, we're submitting for TSO on the unit uh, September of this year. We should have it hit market and delivering by December of 2010. What kind of installations are you envisioning right off the bat? Where might we see them first in service? We're looking to hit the Lear Part 25 market as well as Citations, mm -hmm. Gulf Streams, pretty much any facet of the Part 25 market as well as a Part 23. Now how does this fit into the overall universal scheme of things? Obviously you're not a one-trick pony. You folks have been around for a while and you've got a considerable product line. Why AHARS and why now? Again, we're looking for a low-cost solution to existing obsolete high-cost AHARs as well as existing VGs and DGs. And really this is just another piece of the puzzle. Obviously uh, we're looking forward to completing a full flight deck and this is just one of those pieces. Sounds like you've got a lot of work ahead of you still then. We have quite a bit of work but uh, I think it's very achievable. Robert, thank you for your time. Aero TV is brought to you by... The beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology.